Hey everybody and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to show you how to calculate shipping costs here on Squarespace. Let's begin. Now, the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials. If this is your first time on Squarespace, I want you to click the sign up option. And from here, just follow the on screen instructions and you're good to go. To calculate shipping costs on Squarespace, you can set up shipping methods and rules within your e commerce store because Squarespace allows you to choose from several shipping options, including a flat rate, weight based, in carrier calculated shipping okay so here's how you can set it up i want you to click on the exit button here when you are inside the interface of your website builder i want you to click on the gear icon at the bottom left corner and click on selling because here there's going to be an option that says shipping wherein you can set up local pickup no where set up shipping rates for your store i'm sorry now in the shipping options, this is where you need to basically uh, set up the uh, or calculate the shipping cost. Okay. Click on the add shipping sh option. You see, the shipping options may be calculated by a variety of methods. You can choose how you would like our options costs to be calculated. So let's explore these five options. Number one is going to be a flat rate wherein you can define a charge for every order and a flat fee for each item. Now, let's click on it. You see, you can put in option name. For example, I'm going to put something like here. Now, you can put in the pair order fee for example it's going to be like this a base fee for every order placed and a fee maybe something like this for now you can have an option for the uh, shipping zones i'm gonna click on this for now and click on the shipping zones wherein you need to define the countries provinces and postal codes for this shipping option why does that matter because Squarespace integrates with major carriers like UPS, FedEx, and UP USPS to calculate real-time shipping costs based not only on the package weight, dimensions, and destinations, but of course, your shipping zones. Now, for example, you're going to be looking for something like maybe United States. So they have like 54 if selected. All right, if you want to edit that, that's okay. But for now, let's select all the states that applies to United States and click on done and click on save. That's one way. Click again the shipping option. Now let's click on the depending on weight because from here, we're going to put in the option name on the weight ranges from what weight, all right? From say, for example, from this until this, the cost is going to be this, all right? And you put in here that's going to be like 690 you can add another one if you wanted but i'm going to delete this for now all right now again you need to click on save and you would be forwarded to the shipping zone the shipping zones again is dependent again to the uh, options of your countries but i'm not going to deal with that because we have already selected all these states in the united states but if you're choosing another uh, country you have you are welcome to do that i'm going to click on save all right so we are required to ship to another state and again i'm just choosing united states all the uh, 54 of them and click on th that click the add shipping option again we're going to choose the carrier calculated via fedex all right now here you can configure the fedex rates wherein you can select the services you would like your store support like for example fedex ground home delivery fedex priority overnight fedex standard overnight fedex two days fedex express saver fedex first overnight you can also mark up a specific percentage or amount for example if you put an amount say 6.9 shipping ship from zip code if you wanted for example um 90210 
the uh, FedEx containers has all these dimensions and containers just like this one if you wanted to know more and the custom containers you can add a custom containers used for shipping but shipping costs will be estimated at checkout by packing the order into a, as a few of these containers as possible all right for example you can put in like 6.9.6.9 i'm gonna click on save and then we're going to put in another shipping option carrier calculated via ups and again you might want to select all of these services that applies ups ground ups next day air ups ups next day air saver ups second day air ups three day select and again you can put in the uh percentage which is going to be six ship from zip code click on save of course we're going to put in that and the custom containers you can put in now the last option is going to be carrier calculated via usps and similarly to the two options earlier all i have to do is fill in as much as information as you can all right this is very essential especially if you're running an e-commerce business all right i'm gonna click on the usps priority mail the usps priority email express and the usps ground advantage you can put in an amount here say for example 69 ships from code on 90210 click on save we're going to be put in the flat rate boxes if you wanted to get more information click on the custom containers you can add a custom container if you want once you're happy with that you see Depending on your region, shipping costs may be subject to sales tax. So having an accurate system in place helps ensure you're compliant with local tax laws, reducing any potential legal risks, all right? Now, once you have done that, click on save. Calculating ship cost on Squarespace, as you can see, helps you maintain profit profitability, boost customer satisfaction, reduce cart abandonment, and streamline your shipping operations. All are critical for a successful e-commerce business. Once you're happy with that, all you're going to do is click on save. We have a separate video on how to deal with all of these shipping um, methods or options that you might want to check on our channel. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you again in the next video.